So the question is, can you be lazy and productive at the same time in an RV? Actually, yeah, you can. Well, let me show you how. Welcome to the True Couples RV. This is the Keystone Cougar 22 MLS. What you're looking at is a king size bed up front, multifunctional space in the mid, and the best of both worlds in the rear with a rear kitchen and a rear bath. We're coming in at 26 feet, 10 inches, roughly 5,900 pounds dry. Let's start right here in the living area where you're gonna have your lounging, kick back and chill space with your entertainment, but also a multifunctional space. What am I talking about? Well, let's start right over here on the campsite. So last year, the 22 MLS featured a booth dinette right here where you had the big TV screen. You had this gorgeous Keystone calling card when it comes to the Cougar line of manufacturing. Solid wood cabinetry, beveled edges, frosted glass inlay, pewter solid pulls. Right here is your new upgraded entertainment system. So gone is that AM FM command center. Now, since everything is pretty much Bluetooth, you cut this on, you can Bluetooth into your phone or control the TV sound. And A and B is your inside and outside. So simplifying things a little bit, but you don't have the DVD player, you don't have you know the AM FM controls because Keystone was like, hey, a lot of people are just streaming off their phone. So it makes sense. Oversized TV right here on a swivel arm that does come out. Gives you good viewing angles from the bedroom as well as the kitchen. And of course, across on those comfy recliners, which we're gonna to get to here in a minute, and your storage space up top. You still get the same side skirting and wood valance window with the, the, the nice blackout roller shade but this is where I want your help. This is your multi-use space. Used to be a booth dinette like I mentioned. So now you have a fireplace, 5,000 BTUs of heat to go along with your high output furnace, but the table is no longer the booth dinette. My buddy Ryan, the videographer extraordinaire, says this is multi-use. It can serve as a workspace with both people getting their work done. I see that, understand it. You got a spot underneath for your shoes so you're not like knocking knees up against the base underneath, uh, but it also serves as your dining table. This is where I struggle. Your loved one is sitting here and you're both eating like this. Is that something that is okay? I mean, we are camping. And it is a couple's coach. There's really no separation of space in here. But is that okay? I still got the fireplace. I got storage over here. I got some storage over here. But you got to watch out because that bottom shelf is actually wide open. So, like, what you put there is actually on the floor underneath. But I got the hideaway hinges. I got the comfy chairs, which fold up and go under your king-size bed in the front. But I really want to know, what do you think of that space? To be completely honest, I'm not sold on it yet. And th that's just me. But that's the great thing about RVs. Not every RV is right for everybody. There are certain ones that are perfect for some people. You might be looking at this and going, hallelujah, give me it. And I dig it. Got some more pantry or storage space right over here with these awesome hideaway hinges. And of course, before we get to the rear bath, rear kitchen, across from there is going to be <laughs> my favorite part of this RV. Your plush and comfortable overstuffed pillow top recliners. Now, you do have USB charging as well as heat and massage on these. They kick out. Great spot to just completely relax and watch TV. I'm going to tell you now, open up this window, get that cross breeze going. I'm sleeping here. That's what's going to happen when I'm camping. But I got a good shot of my TV. Now, let's talk a little bit about the best of both worlds in this one. Rear bath, rear kitchen. Thanks, Ryan. You didn't tell me I had spinach in my teeth. So the rear portion of your 22 MLS features a very nice segmented kitchen as well as a nice spacious rear bath. You got the high rise porcelain bowl with the foot flush, plenty of countertop space, large mirrored medicine cabinet with a bonus storage spot right beside it. Plus you got your towel hanger, vent and fan, tankless water heater, and glass enclosed shower surround with upgraded brush nickel featured handle and controls and skylight in here. I like the glass enclosure. This feels very residential to me. Plus I got a vent right there for my blade distribution system from my 15K BTU AC, giving me about 30% more effectiveness on my cooling. 
I even got space underneath my sink. And the thing that I like what Keystone did with their bathroom sinks, yes, this is Thermoform countertop, so there's no T-mold, so I don't have to worry about water getting into the edge here, but my sink is undermounted. So I'm not gonna have that dirty seal around the top. And when I need to clean stuff, I can just sweep it in, kind of like my rear kitchen that I have here. Gorgeous window, so if you wanna get some good views, wherever you're parked, whatever you, your campground, grandma's house, whatever you can. Cutting board and drying rack cover for your sink, which is a oversized stainless steel undermount with the sprayer nozzle. And check out my storage that I have here. Now the 22 MLS is a true couples coach. Can it sleep more than two? I mean, if you swap the recliners out for a hide -a bed sure. Or if you're okay with somebody sleeping on the recliners, sure. But to me, couples coach. You'll see you got storage underneath your sink as well. Good space, plus an inverted outlet right here for your coffee station and a USB C and A charging port. When you come over to the off camp side, this is where you're gonna do your food prep. So this allows you to do some movement behind while prepping. I got my three burner cooktop, decorative backsplash, 16 inch oven right here, LED light on your controls too. Got the pot and pan drawer down there. And all of your drawers on the Keystone Cougar 22 MLS are gonna be solid wood, full extension drawer guys. You'll notice that the glazing on the wood on the inlay just looks super nice. And you have an acrylic front, 10.7 cubic foot fridge freezer combo right here uh, that's 12 volt, so you can run it while going down the road. And it's also framed in, I like that. Just the fit and finish with Keystone Cougar, to me, is some of the best you're gonna find. So if you really want a decorative, nice home away from home, these are the type of RVs you should look for. I mean, for example, this year, they even recessed the LED lighting. So gone are those mushroom lights, you got the recessed LEDs, including in your barrel ceilings right here with over 81 inches of height. Love this area, absolutely love it. Just. I'm struggling with the table, so maybe you can help me there. But before you do, what do you say we take a look at your primary bedroom? Now, right up front of your 22 MLS is gonna be your primary bedroom, featuring a king-size bed, gorgeous front cap window, and plenty of storage. Now, with this being a 26 feet, 10 inch coach, you're not gonna really have a separation of space here. There's not even a privacy curtain. But king-size bed, check out my storage underneath. Strut supported, plus finished off with a nice felt base. So if you needed to put clothes in there, you know, or whatever, you absolutely can. But new for this year, they also added drawers. So once again, just a nice feature to help you really enjoy that camping experience and kind of maximize the space a little bit. Now, the space over here beside your bed, you're gonna see you got an inverted outlet on this bad boy because the 22 MLS does come with the Solar Flex Protect on it. You got a USB C and A, plus you got nightstand space with solid wood drawers. And just take a look at my wardrobe and how that gorgeous kind of barn decor for the front cap goes all the way up to the top. So it is kind of finished off. I like that space. Like it a lot. I'm just struggling with that table. I really am struggling with that table. And right before we go outside, yes, you also have the big large windows here with the roller shades, breeze, light, whole nine. I got dimmer switch for my main lights here. So if you want to put on some Lou Rawls and set the mood, you absolutely can. By the way, best of Lou Rawls, awesome CD, get it? You'll never find. All right, 54, 30, and 30 on your tanks. 54 gallon fresh, 30 gallon gray, 30 gallon black. Why is that important? For two people, 54 gallons is a lot of water. But right here's your main command panel. Run out your slide, run out your awning, as well as check those tanks, cut on your water pump and your tank heaters, because you do have a heated and enclosed underbelly on this one with 12 volt tanks on, with 12 volt heaters on your tanks, meaning they won't freeze as you're driving down the road. So very nice. Okay, beautiful. Let's go outside. Now on the outside of your Keystone Cougar 22 MLS, you're gonna find awesome wheels with anti-lock brakes, heated and enclosed underbelly, heated pass-through storage, plus right up front, 
Power Tongue Jack, twin 20 pound LP tanks. I love their frames because they do such a good job of giving that nice solid frame, which gives you a sturdy support for this coach. Plus you got the Giggy Box. This is something they put in a couple of years ago to kind of help protect the connections. They're not exposed to the elements and it gives you a really good way of disconnecting the power with still being able to trickle charge battery. I'll talk about that when we get to the pass through. Plus they added a tie down, which is welded to the frame for, you know, the pets, the rowdy kids, uh, the neighbor, myself. And you'll notice too, they enlarged your luggage door this year so you could fit a full size cooler into your pass through storage. But they also gave you heated pass through storage. Very nice feature and upgrade this year really kind of adding in some of those luxury features into what's known as a premium RV. But in my opinion, the Cougar is a luxury RV. Just take a look at how it's finished off. Plus, I got my tire pressure monitoring prep in here. Please get this. 76,000 RV accidents happen each year. That's from the National Traffic Highway Safety Administration. Number one cause of accidents is tire blowouts. Please get the monitoring, any RV you get. You'll also see that you got your uh, solar charge controller, your inverter prep, and your disconnect for your solar charge. That's so that when you cut this giggy box off, leave that on, that 220 watt solar flex protect panel will still trickle charge your batteries. And since you're doing that, a smart move, get lithium batteries. Plus you got your cable connection right there with the key TV multi-source connection, heated and enclosed underbelly. I got my power jacks, both the front and the rear. Solid step over steps, friction hinge door, door guard doubles uh, as a handle. And right there, check out my road armor suspension, those red drums. This has ABS on it, anti-lock brakes on an RV that's 26 feet, 10 inches, extremely nice. Plus you got the Endurance, the Goodyear Endurance E-rated tires, uh, very nice. Back of your hot water heater, back of your furnace. Just watch out putting a camp chair right here. Large awning with the LED light strip, outside speakers, sealed safety windows, four x four sewer hose storage in the back, plus my spare tire. Right here is gonna be my 30 amp plug for my power ladder mounted on the back, plus you are backup camera prepped. You can be lazy and still be productive because you got lounge space and you got office space. So if you're a couple that's like, you know what? I think since we work remotely, let's take our work on the, on the road. Let's go see some places. Why not take a conference call at the beach? I mean, you got, if it's fall, you can cut the fireplace on, warm your tootsies while you're on that team's meeting that you don't want to be on. That part, I really like. Hopefully you do too. Leave me some comments down below though and let me know what'd you like about this one, what'd you not like about it? If you're saying, hey Chris, you got any couple of options, maybe something that might be a little bit less expensive, maybe something with a different layout, I'll link a couple of videos for you to check out as well. But let me know what you think of the 22 MLS and please click like, subscribe and notify. So the next time we do this, you're the first one to get it. 26 feet, 10 inches, roughly 5,800 pounds dry. Bang. Right campingworld.com or come into your local camping world but let me know what you think of that table i'd love to get your thoughts